Welcome back to Mad Money's Invest in America, Behind the Boom, where all week we're taking a closer look at every part of the oil patch, because I think this whole group has been put on sale thanks to the recent slide in the price of crude. Right now, I want to introduce you to an independent oil and gas producer that may, you may never heard of, although I expect it will get a lot more attention going forward, because this company is dead set on giving investors both growth and income, which is a rare magical combination that makes Wall Street type salivate. Remember what we said about some of the others last week that are switching into that model. I'm talking about Denbury Resources, symbol DNR. Here's a company that acquires mature oil fields and then blasts them full of carbon dioxide in order to revitalize their production by unlocking hard-to-reach oil that would otherwise be virtually impossible to recover. Denbury is a strategic supply of CO2 and 1,100 miles of pipeline to transport the carbon dioxide to their oil fields along the Gulf Coast and in the Rocky Mountains. The company's CO2 infrastructure means that they can acquire tapped-out oil fields from the competition and then breathe new life into them. However, what really grabbed my attention with Denbury is the fact that management's trying to give you growth and income at the same time. The company's forecasting 4 to 8% organic production growth through 2020 off of a base of long-lived assets, and these numbers don't include any acquisitions they might make down the road. Meanwhile, Denbury sports a 1.5% dividend yield, and at their analyst day last year, management said they plan to more than double the payout next year. That would bring the yield up to about 3.3% right now. Talk about shareholder friendly. This stock is flat year to date, but if management can deliver on its promise of growth and income, then I think the upside here could be good. Don't take it from me. Let's uh, head back to the Intercom Oil and Gas Conference to check in with Phil Rycook, the president and CEO of Denbury Resources, to find out more about his company's prospects. Mr. Rycook, welcome to Mad Money. Good afternoon, Jim. Thank you for inviting me on your show. All right. Well, caught my eye immediately, other than the fact that you call your uh, presentation growth and income right at the top, is that you have a slide, page 10, that says that you have more than a billion barrels of oil potential at Denbury? We do. We have nearly uh, 400 million barrels of crude reserves, and we have about 800 million barrels of probable. So, um, and, and we also believe that's probably only about 15 percent of the total potential in the areas that we operate. The, Department of Energy did a report uh, a few years ago said there's up to 10 billion barrels in the areas that we operate that could be recovered with CO2 EOR. Why wouldn't you try to be as aggressive as possible and bring that oil out rather than go and try to keep your costs down and generate more income? Well, we are very focused on value, so keeping costs down is very important to us. But it's hard for us to grow in, in the same way as a shell player. Um, if, if you look at how they operate, they tend to just throw more rigs at it. They spend more than cash flow, and obviously then they can deliver 20 and 30 percent growth rates. In our case, we're managing uh, the CO2 supply. We're, we're trying to maximize the utilization of the infrastructure, the utilization of the facilities at the field. And so what we really are solving for is what's the, what's the best rate of return that we can get. So it's solving for rate of return rather than production growth. And uh, because of that, uh, the nature of our assets, they don't decline as fast. Um, they're, they're lower declines. As you know, shells decline very quickly in the first year. So it's a, it enables us to throw off a lot of free cash. So we felt like growth and income was the best match uh, for the assets that we have. All right. Now, I know you have projections for what the dividend will be next year. Uh, Rich Kinder last week was laying out a multi-year dividend projection. Is Denbury in a position where you could lay out a multi-year dividend projection, not just 2015? Well, we've kind of stayed away from a multi-year. Of course, um, to some degree, it depends on what happens to oil price. Uh, we did give 2014, which is 25 cents this year. We said it would at least double in 2015. But I would expect it to grow uh, pretty significantly thereafter. We expect our top line growth to be 4 to 8 percent, and the dividend should grow at least consistent with that and, and, and most likely more than that. Now, one of the things that I think people don't understand, you are very well hedged. So those who are selling your stock because they see oil dip to 95, don't understand the way you've hedged your uh, enterprise. Yeah, we're hedged for about 18 months out. Um, we, so we have hedges up through the first quarter of 2016. In 2014, we swapped it out and uh, in, in the low 90s. But in 2015 and 2016, uh, we have collars. Uh, generally, the floor price is around 85 and the ceiling's up near 100. And then we have a portion of it swapped around 90. You know, Jim, our long-term oil price that we use to, to meet our forecast and our budget is only $85. So uh, to the extent we've been locking in a little bit better than that, particularly in 2016, obviously that's just uh, adding icing to the cake. It's just, it's just gravy for us. 
That's Phil Rycook. He's the president and CEO of Denbury Resources. Mad Money's back after the break. 